waited till the next day till people rewatched it and decided to donate. Yeah. I was very shocked to, to learn that we had collected right at about seven thousand yes. dollars, maybe a little bit over. Yes, yes. Uh, um, and uh, I was I was very pleased with the Kenyan. Yeah, what's up Mambo VP ladies and gentlemen, Karibuni Leon Daniel Kenya Marekani. Tuko na msani mmoja wa power sana and before we even continue please make sure you subscribe and click that bell so that anytime we bring any new article here in the US you'll be the first one to watch. Ama namana gani? Karibu sana. So uh, today we have one of my the biggest DJ, one of the biggest DJs here in the US. Man. Thank you, thank Mambo you. Vipi, bro. Poa sana, poa yeah. sana, niambie. Ah, fiti, fiti, ni mifraya yeah. kupatana na wea, si unge kwa mita ndao, tu atujua yi meet. Atujua yi meet, atujua yi meet, that's true. Atujua yi meet, but uh, I'm telling you, it's it's a very online platform zina kunga powerful because you can become a family, na amjua yi meet na mtu. Hey, it's true, because uh, nimetembea sana, na kuna watu wengi sana nimepatana nao, lakini tunaongea for so long, yes. lakini tunapatana like after a year, or a year and a half, so your, your power ya kupata na online is yeah. it's very strong. It's very strong. Yeah. So maybe it was in the first things first, uh, introduce yourself, yeah. and, uh, what you do, and then talk it up. Yeah, definitely. Me, I go by the name of DJ Sunny Sestuki. I'm a DJ based out of Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, I do a lot of uh, if, uh, gigs all over the country, all over the US, and hopefully soon in Kenya too. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So, uh, he Gina Sistuki, when I was having uh, an event, then Kaskia Sistuki, Kuangalia Sistuki, na naona muindi flani pale. Nikashindo kurenda haje sana. Yeah, inachanganya watu wengi sana. Inachanganya watu wengi sana. So, when did you come up with the name Sistuki? Iyo ni Gina ilipatika na tukiwa high school. Yeah. Yeah, mina deski wangu wa high school. Yeah, actually, yenda wakona tumianga sana sana. Yeah. Alafu, vile, vile sasa nika, nika anza ku DJ, uh, Mwanzo mwanzo nikuwa tuna inda by DJ Sunny, lakini handle zangu zote zilikuwa at Sistuki. Oh, okay. No, no, no. So, so ni ile tuku stuka. Sistuki. Ni ile tuku stuka at Sistuki. <laughs> yeah, alafu ina, ina, ikona, ikona meaning powerful sana. Mm. Unajua ile tu. So what's the meaning uwezi, behind it? Uwezi babaika, ubabaishwi. Oh. Unajua, ustukangi. <laughs> Unachukua tu kitu ya nina kamu na unaenda nayo. <laughs> yeah. So, umegro ya Kenya? Nime, yeah, nilizali wa Kenya, nilizali wa LD. Oh, Eldoret? Yeah, nilizali wa Eldoret. I don't mean Eldoret. Uh, when Eldoret, yeah. yeah. Ay, I didn't know. Ah. <laughs> Sit mills aliwa hiyo area ya Kapu. Oh. Yeah. yeah wow. Yeah. So uka grow ya huko ugenda shule. Nalenda shule, din lenda testi. Eh. Yeah, believe it or not nilenda testi, uh, testi mun lenda nursery, primary na second lenda shule moja. Wow. Yeah. Amazing, amazing kujua ni mtu Eldoret kutoka nyumbani pale. Yep, yep. alafu vile nimaza chuo, mm. uh, nikamaza high school, nika do job kidogo, alafu nikahamia huko uh, kwenda kole. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was when? That was 2003. Sasa wow. nime nimetambua age yangu hapa. <laughs> <laughs> Na Kiswahili bado iko intact. Ah, uh, Kiswahili bado iko. Unajua a lot of our friends mabeste nini nini mm -hmm. wote ni wa ni wa Kenya. Yeah. So it's uh, ni, ni lugha ume, ume, ume grow up ukiongea uwezi sahau. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So uh, na kukama hapa hivi ulikuwa shaanza DJ ukiwa Kenya ama ukiwa Kenya? Nilikuwa nimeanza ku DJ. No, nilikuwa nimeanza ku DJ nikiwa nikiwa Kenya. Yeah. Cuz nilikuwa grow up kwa family ya ma DJ so uh, my uncle alikuwa DJ. So niki, kwa nyumba tulikuwa na turntables na hizo vitu all the time. Nilikuwa naenda kuwasaidia ku set up nikiwa mtu hii vitu kama hizo. Hey, for the first time nime, nime interview mtu akasema alikuwa na hizo vitu. Unajua kitambo na na ulizanga mtu ananiambia nilikuwa na, na, na scratch macho hapo. Asi zetu zilikuwa kwa nyumba. Hata yeah. nakumbuka nikiwa mtu hii kuna siku nilikuwa na nimeona hizo ma turntables hapo. Uh, uncle yangu alikuwa amemaza ku practice ama kitu kama hiyo. Mm -hmm. So aliziacha on yeah. na akaenda. So mimi nikasema ah nikapanda juu ya stool hivi nilikuwa mtu hii. <laughs> Nikaanza kuscratch hapo ali nipigie kelele cuz hizo hizo sindano za za kinanda yeah, yeah. zinakuanga very sensitive kuna za kuscratch na zile za kitambo zilikuanga za, za kucheza tu ngoma uh -huh. eh aliniambia naweza haribu hizo vitu na vile ni bekali <laughs> so i knew in my mind as a very young boy mm -hmm. na wana ma dj online wana scratch lakini mimi oh, sayo online haikuwa lakini unaona ma dj kwa tv or whatever wana scratch Lakini mimi nimeambiwa na uncle wangu you're not supposed to scratch utaharibu hiyo kitu. Yeah. So finally when I got older and I decided to learn on my own ndio nikajua what's the right way and the wrong way of doing it. So so uh nikikuangalia your love for Kenyan music mm -hmm. na kumbira kunga so much yeah. Oh sana sana sana. So au grow na uh, culture maybe ya uh, you're, you're from you know, So my family is, yeah my family is from India. Lakini yeah. Pia babangu alizaliwa wa Kenya mm -hmm. na grandfather wangu alizaliwa wa Kenya. Ah nini wa Kenya bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, at India, it's a giant. Wow. Yeah. 
amazing. Yeah, madangu wanza doa India, lakini sija enda uko. So, so love ya, ya Kenyan music tu ni, ni yeah. kuanzia way back. Ni kuanzia tu way back, yeah. Yeah, na support ya, ya wasei mekuwaje so far. Support ime kwa poa sana. Unajua mm. vile tulianza ku live stream online 2020. Yeah. Ndiyo watu walianza kunitambua outside of North Carolina penye niko. Yeah. Yeah, so after that vile vitu zikaanza kufunguka, ma lockdown zikaanza kuisha isha. Uh, I've had the opportunity last year and now this year to kutembea sana kuenda Boston, Atlanta, uh, Alabama, St. Louis, uh, wapi pengine nimeenda, uh, California, uh, Seattle, nimeenda, sana, Seattle sana. sana sana nimecome, <laughs> Dallas, Dallas nimeenda Maramob, yeah. Houston, mm -hmm. so nimetembea, I've had a chance kutembea, New York, mm -hmm. so I've had a chance kutembea sana, plus na bado hii mwaka kuna kuna tour yangu ya Kenya naenda April and May. Yeah. So yeah. what are some of the advantages uh, wewe ku DJ especially in America in different culture? Uh, I know there's a bigger Kenyan community but uh, what are some of the like challenges na vitu poa zenye una feel zimekuwa penia since uanze ku DJ? So mimi nimeanza ku DJ kitambo sana. I've been a DJ in the US tangu ni hamia huko. Mm -hmm. Right? So lakini of late uh, nimepata it's it's nice ile naweza naweza connect na watu because mm -hmm. every time naenda mahali na connect na watu alafu what's been really uplifting to me ni nikipata na watu from every city every state wananiambia mimi ndo niliwasaidia ku go through your time ya lockdown wow. so wow. mi sikuwa nimefikiria hivyo nikifanya hiyo hiyo something yeah. unajua mimi nilikuwa naenda tu hapo na DJ niko na best yangu Aida alikuwa na katika hapo na na, na wife ana katika hapo tuko yeah. tu hapo tunacheza tuna cheza yeah. we're just having a good time Lakini kumbe watu wali, wali connect sana na sisi. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I yeah. remember during COVID, hiyo time ya, uh, ilikuwa DJ 254. 254, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, whenever you came, hiyo kitu likuwe na blow up. Yeah, <laughs> so hata sikuwa na expect, milikuwa naenda tu hivi ku, kucheza tu, you know. Unadhani watu likuwa na, na, na enjoy music, kama walikuwa na kutusorora. Ah, <laughs> nasijui. <laughs> Lakini hopefully walikuwa na enjoy music, because that's what we were bringing to the table. Yeah. And then uh, vile tukendelea. We started getting more and more creative. Yes. We started doing podcast. like special effects and mm. stuff, even on the DJ stuff. Yeah. I love to cut our podcast PR. So po podcast here tonight uh, Sunday wind down. Yes, yes. We I've were always, doing it. I've, I've always watched that. Yeah, yeah, we were doing it live, but now we're gonna start putting up recordings. In fact, you'll probably be able to find this recording on our podcast as well. So, 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 uh, it time ya ya nini ya e Corona. Mm -hmm. Do time ni where we are more change your scenery. Yeah. Get the music into the scene. Kwa sababu watu walikuwa depressed sana yote. Yeah, watu walikuwa depressed sana. So that's the most uplifting thing ni vile watu walikuwa niambia sasa walikuwa si ndio tuliwa tuliwasaidia ku push through your time ya lockdown. Mm. Hata nilikuwa napata ma messages kutoka kwa man, from nurses. Yeah. Wanasema wako kwa si na patient ako msiki lakini wameniweka tu hapo wananicheza niki DJ na watu wote wanabambika kwa OC. Wow. Wow. So different things like that. Wengine wako kwa gym, yeah. wanacheza tu ngoma zangu na wana workout. Yeah. So it was it was very inspiring. I remember I remember during the same time ndio mimi pia nilikuwa na jaribu kutafuta France za kufanya kidney transplant. Right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the DJ who really came through for me. Na hapo unanijua, mimi siko namjua. Uh, would come through sana and nilikuwa natafuta funds za kufanya kidney transplant na yeah. as we speak nilifanywa transplant last ah, year nice 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 yeah na wewe uko unanijua na would come through vi major hebu uh, talk to us what pushed you to even go so, ahead and do that so nilikuwa nimekuja online two or three times by that point yeah. and suddenly like simu yangu it was just i would go to sleep mm. na mka to 500 messages 600 messages yeah so Nazi Soma Pole Pole, uh, one of the messages was from a lady who ran a non-profit. Yes. Uh, Project Afia.org. Yes, yes, I, I think she goes by Monica. Yes. Yeah. So she had reached out to me. So that was one of the messages. I can you, Lisa, would I care to do something? So Sayo, what do you want to tip online? Yeah, yeah. Akasema, would I care to do a fundraising? Mm -hmm. So I was very skeptical at first. Yeah. Because when I was Personally, me ufikiri ya mtu wakisema na unata kufanya fundraising, me ufikiri ya nata kula do. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what me I think. So, nika, nika sema, it's possible, but niko na condition. Mm -hmm. Condition yangu ni kama na fundraising ya mse fulani ama mtu yote, uh, iyo do, mi ndo nata kumtumia directly. Yeah. Staki yende through, ni kupatie au umpatie or anything. Uh -huh. Nika sema hile do ita, ita kolektiwa, nataka kuwa responsible, ni mahakikisha ime fika penye inafa kufika. Yes. Haka sema that's possible, that's doable. Yes. So, haka nipatia profile yako, haka nipatia Facebook yako. Nika icheki, nika, nika fanya some due diligence kuwana if it's legitimately kaa kuna mtu wana itajikitu. Yeah. Because 
you know, thinking about it, I didn't think we would raise as much money as we did. Yes. But we did. Nakaa kuna mtu wakwa nataka tu kukula do, that would have been a lot of money kupatia tu mtu. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so once uh, nikafanya due diligence, nikajua this is legitimately, una need kidney. Yeah. Ukona, ukona haja hizi vitu. Uh, tukasema saa, tuifanya. Yes. So I even called one of my friends to come and DJ alongside me for that fundraiser. Wow. Yeah. So to bring something different. Yeah. Hata tukatoa setup yetu yote tukaweka kwa living room. Ilikuwa kwa room nyingine tukatoa tukaweka kwa living room. Tuka change scenario, tuka and we did that a lot right? yeah. throughout the whole to the, the uh, yeah. whole pandemic. Na tukaanza tukaweka tu cash up hapo cash up ilikuwa yangu yeah. and we just started DJing. Me hata sikuwa najua people were going to be that generous. Yeah. Na sikuwa najua ile pesa inaingia as we are DJing. Si tuna DJ tu. Yeah, yeah. So vile tulimaliza and we waited till the next day till people rewatched it and decided to donate. Yeah. I was very shocked to, to learn that we had collected right at about seven thousand yes. dollars, maybe a little bit over. Yes, yes. Uh, um, and uh, I was I was very pleased with the Kenyan community for coming through uh, and being able to. Uh, I was I was happy that I had the opportunity mm. to be able to help you as well. Yes, yes. Because you need to do. I I wouldn't have. Ungeni uliza three days prior to that, if we would have been able to do that, no. it would have. I, I wouldn't have. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So wow. I was very. That, it was that very good. Moved a lot of people, such that once again, you're. When I say you're Indian. Yeah. Yeah, you're Indian. Umeraisia mtuata ujui. You know that thing really moved uh, people even here in Seattle. Yeah. Out when you were you were That's why when you I heard you're coming. I was like, this is a nice opportunity to share your story. Yeah. Ijenge umse mungine mwenye anafikiria, maybe ukikuja America, akuna Kenyan community, we are not one. Yeah. And then also, inapatia a little bit of, a little bit of faith in humanity. Unajua, unasikia ngatunga stories negative, negative. You know, like, mtu wamekula mtu do, mtu wameumiza mtu, vitu kaizo. But sometimes there needs to be a spotlight on some positive things. Yes. People feel like it's okay to help someone, you know? Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, yeah, but most definitely. So, any time a pandemic, will e online ilika ilikam like a ilika change senior DJing. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm kupona time ya kunda kufanya gigs. Yep. So, unadani ulpochini sa iyo ama you took that opportunity no, also to. No, me I think I don't think nearly lose out on anything. I think I took that opportunity, and I was actually busier doing the online streaming yes. than I was uh, doing gigs. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was more lucrative doing yeah. online streaming at that time than doing gigs. Mm -hmm. Now it's a different scenario because places are open, what one has and out. Yeah. But say what work was stuck at home. Yeah, yeah. So what work on TV Zao, Nini, and it was it was really it was really eye opening. Yes. Pia, it, I came to find out Siapa America Pekiake, it was all over the world. Yes, yes. I was getting messages from Dubai, from London, Kilamtu. I love time difference. What work on a jali, when I set alarm, when I'm ka 4 a.m., when I'm alive. Palimtu Wako. Yeah, Palimtu Wako. So that was very encouraging. To be broken, by the way, it's going to realize it's going to time difference. Yeah. It's going to be like. Like like una kama wewe sasa unanimbuli amka 6 I mean was it 3 Yeah leo niliamka time time ya hapa Seattle 2 in the morning yeah. kwangu ilikuwa 5 ndo nilitoka kwenda airport So siko na siko naelewa mambo ya time difference yeah. but nimekuja huku ndio naelewa eh somebody to wake up at 4 your your time now for example yeah. yani kama ni 4 ya jioni yeah. kwa mtu mwingine ni 6 asubuhi ama Yeah saa 9 ya usiku Na no, unajua no, si tulikuwa na stream tukijua time zone yetu tulikuwa na stream 9 stream 9 jioni ama 10 jioni ya time yeah. time yangu Yeah so, kwa wengine ni time zone tofauti. Na it didn't matter. It was they still, woke up they woke work. up and, or they got home early from work or they did what they had to do to watch it. What are some of the challenges when it comes to corporate? Unajua pale ukicheza mziki, kwanza international, unagongwa strike mba ya kitu ili tusumbua sana. And we didn't know any better. You know, now the other platforms, zenye hazikutoi. Yeah. And after we didn't know about them, like for example, Twitch, you can live stream. For, I've, I've done a seven hour live stream on Twitch. Nasija gongwa. But Facebook, to look one hour to Nagonga, Kidogo, what one is in the refresh. I'm a Jacob Queen Giatana. YouTube did the same thing. YouTube did the same thing. I think YouTube, when I want to watch wana your stream, but when I was a tour video, Yako, after the fact. Oh, I'm, 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 you watch, well, like you school royalties, yeah, you school pesa, okay. Yeah, like in Goma on YouTube, anyway, how to pull a pesa. Yeah, yeah, you can't monetize counters and Goma on YouTube. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 
Wow, wow, amazing. So uh, talk, talk to us a little bit about now the tours that you're having. Yeah. yeah. Kama saizu kwa Seattle? Sai ni kwa Seattle. So ni kwa Seattle leo na kesho. Today is Friday. Uh, I love Kesho. I have a private event in Seattle that I'm doing. Yes. And then Sunday I'll be in LA for uh, my, my brunch series. So I started a brunch series in the middle of 2020 that's called Beats and Brunch. Mm -hmm. We were doing it in predominantly North Carolina in okay. Raleigh mm -hmm. once a month. Yes. And now I'm taking it on the road. So wow. we're doing the first one outside of North Carolina in LA uh, this Sunday. And then there's more cities coming. Hopefully, Seattle will be in that mix too, coming soon. Wow, wow. So, yeah. it's, you're quite a busy guy. You yeah. Find you. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be busy. You know, yeah. If you're not busy, you get into trouble. <laughs> Yeah. Mostly the hosting So, plan your next uh, few years, you see my future. Ah, next few years, that's just Kiria. Yeah. Yeah. Uko, we only one day. Me, na deal too, sahi. Na deal sahi. Na what's happening this year? Yeah. Mbaka sama. Ata after sama, ata si jesa si juu iyo tu tajua iki fika. Kwa nini mtu kaiende kaiende? Kaiende kaiende. Like uh, I'm planning the next three four months in advance. Mm -hmm. Like ni uh, beyond that. Yeah. Uh, by with a month from now, I'll have another month ahead done you know so it's just figuring things out as they happen and, oh. and and really having faith having faith that that things opportunities will come your way yes, and yes. when an opportunity comes you just make the most of it yeah kabisa, yeah. Kabisa. yeah so uh, uh kwa, kwa your life na e traveling how yeah. do you manage that ah, tuna, na... tuna manage too yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Nikona... lazima unga pia lazima itafute lazima unga itafute <laughs> unajua na fortunately uh, like mimi my family uh, all around my uh, wife uh, sisters wazazi wangu kila mtu wana they've I've had a very supportive uh, crew of people around me my friends uh, so you know tuna supportiana yeah, kama mtu yeah. akuna hustle yake tuna support Kani kona hustle, wana ni support. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm blessed in that sense that I have very supportive friends yeah. and very supportive family. So, so, uh, unajua kukua wife wa superstar si raisi? Ah, lakini ni si superstar. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, unajua, unajua na unanga watu unapenda ma DJ sana. Yeah. Kwa za ikifika um, kwa clubs na nina nini. But, uh, ee, e, kukurusu mazei, it's a big thing. It's a yeah. big blessing. Yeah, lakini unajua pia kuna kwa ngana ile una, unaelewana. Yeah. Unajua what's going on na vitu kaizo, so, mm. uh, it, I think if I was still in my 20s, yeah. but I think I've <laughs> gone through tulia. everything. I've gone through everything. I've gone through everything. I've gone through everything. I've gone through everything. i at Sistuki, yeah. uh, Alafu Pia, uh, uh, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, Clubhouse, Vimeo, Kila Mali, Tafta to Sistuki, na, na, Twitter. Na, na, yeah, Gina same. Yeah. Yeah, same. Mm. Alafu Pia ni kuna merchandise yangu. Yeah. Kwa hii ni the latest one, imandi kwa Sistuki, Sistuki, Alafu kuna, kuna map ya Kenya hapo katikati. Oh, eh, yeah. moto, moto sana, yeah. moto sana. So, ni kuna hizo merchandise, uh, Pia kuna kwa ngana phone cases na banza sa. Yeah. Ka, kai sasa uh -huh. ziko na Kenyan colors na vitu yes. yeah so hiyo pia ni another side hustle yeah yeah nyaye yeah. yeah. ni mwendo ukweli <laughs> maisha niko hustle maisha niko hustle my friend <laughs> hey, hey, hey. so ladies and gentlemen make sure you find uh, DJ Sistuki pale kwa mitandao na kama uko na unataka kumuita event gig maze let's support Kenyan let's support uh, one and ask support Kenyans just like that because People are doing extraordinary stuff. Kama umse, job anapiga ni job true, ni job legit, legit, bizna legit. Vile amesema. So ladies and gentlemen, sina mambo mengi ya kusema. Guys, remember to subscribe to Mkenya Marekani so that anytime you know your content, muna kuwa wakwanza kupata. Na usi subscribe to maze, watch, like, share, tu supportiane, ama vipi? Ivo tu. God bless you. Thanks. Cheers, guys. Cheers.